No, God! What the f The Alpo HVT is a tier 5. Battle rating 8.0 premium events Finchoni card for use by the pasta police to ensure maximum carbohydrate consumption. Unlike the Tech Tree variant, this vehicle has a stabilizer and epitomizes the playstyle of the late Italian Tech Tree of being annoying as shit to fight, while also being too fast to pin the fuck down for more than the time it takes to boil pasta. The Albal HVG is the first vehicle in the game to come equipped with a 60mm laser pointer that in real life got stuck in so many vehicles you would start to wonder why the fuck Gagegles hasn't already vomited more of these into the game as overpriced premiums yet. Regardless, this vehicle was part of the surprisingly well liked Operation Heat event, it being the top tank reward one could earn. If you missed the event however you can still buy it on the gauge in marketplace for the stupidly low price of about 25 gaugeable rubles at the time of writing this script. Here is how you play the pasta patrol car. You load 38 rounds of fin stabilized uncooked spaghetti and tell HE to go eat shit. Assuming the HE shell doesn't get its proximity fuses for use against helicopters this all sounds fairly standard with one exception. Because you are an armored car your engine and transmission would be better suited to driving a Mexican tank. Meaning that you have a lower power to weight ratio than most main battle tanks at your tier despite having a top speed closer to that of a retreating French if you get into trouble with anything more heavily armed than a fucking bush, you will not be able to retreat in time to get out of the way of incoming harsh language, which may as well be just as deadly considering that my 2010 Mazda 6 has better armor than this thing does, and is far more honorable too. No seriously, even rifle caliber bullets will punch more holes in your armor than your average Jordan Peterson destroys feminism video. Another problem with the vehicle is that the driver's hatch obstructs the gun in a fairly significant forward dark. This area is called the crippling depression zone. So always place yourself in a position to shoot over the left side of your vehicle to avoid this issue. Speaking of gun performance, let's talk about that. The 60mm Otto high velocity gun system is a fantastically hard hitting gun for its size and caliber. Firing a 17mm in diameter, uncooked spaghetti at an astounding speed of 1620 meters per second, which in turn has just enough penetration to get through the upper front plate of a T-54 at 2 kilometers, and with very little drop either. This makes the Albal incredibly dangerous and easy to shoot with, and if left unchecked it can clear a flank of unsuspecting enemies with frightening speed. However, because its vertical penetration is rather low for its tier, you will often find that this gun has a tendency to bounce or fail to penetrate thick armor more often than other guns of the same tier. This gun works best when fired at moderately armored opponents, rather than the super heavies you will sometimes run into. That being said, it isn't totally incapable of penetrating heavy tanks, but you will have to aim much more carefully than you would when facing MBTs. The other major downside of the weapon is its rate of fire. A stock Alpal HVG has a rate of fire of over 7.5 rounds per minute, giving it a base reload of 7.8 seconds. Which for a gun this small is simply fucking terrible. With an ace crew you can get the reload down to 6 seconds but this is still not ideal. This is all a very long-winded way of saying that this vehicle isn't dumbass proof. If you are looking for a vehicle where you can just hold down the forward movement key and win, this ain't it chief. You will have to keep an eye on your map at all times and position yourself to support your allies with medium to long-range supporting fire. You use your high top speed to get to good flanking fire positions which allow you to begin picking off important targets or vehicles hoping to get around your team's flanks. You are not a tank. You are an overarmed re corn food cart, and you should leave the tanking to the tanks on your team, assuming that they even know how to actually do that. Speaking of knowing how to do things, 
Let's quickly run through crew skills. Focus on tank driving, leadership, and weapon reloading to speed up your driver's reaction times and rate of fire. Since it's fucking atrocious stock, free and freshly baked modifications come with the vehicle with any order of salad and breadsticks. So now you know how to boil water. Get out there, and show them your skinny dick energy.